Subwoofers are great for deep bass, but what if I told you there's a way to get even deeper bass? In this video, I'm building a rotary subwoofer. Basically, a subwoofer and a fan combined into one. In a previous video, I made an infinite baffle subwoofer, where I put a subwoofer in a window, and the subwoofer moved air in and out of the room, creating immense amounts of bass. This is kind of the same concept, but instead of air being pushed in and out of the room with a cone, it's going to be pushed and pulled in and out of the room with varying pitch propellers. And what has varying pitch propellers? That's right, an RC helicopter. So I ordered this RC helicopter rotor off of Amazon for like 50 bucks. Bit of a pain to assemble, but I did get it done. Once the RC helicopter rotor was assembled, it was time to modify the speaker for this rotary subwoofer. The first step was to drill a hole through the center of the speaker. Well, I didn't even drill. And then I mount a motor behind it. The axle will be going through this center of the speaker with the hole that is now in the center of my speaker and to the helicopter rotor to spin the propellers. But enough with that, let's get building this speaker. So, a first prototype is working. As you can see, I am spinning this helicopter gyro, not gyro, rotor, and able to pitch the blades. Although there's no blades on it right now, so I need to put some on like this, and now I need to make them vibrate with the speaker. And there we go. That is basically how this works. That'll go with whatever bass frequency is being played. And now I'm gonna test it with the spinning with the blades on. Very unstable as you can see, partially due to that horrible mounting, um, the axle, the thing that keeps the axle hanging in the air, that cardboard and tape, probably the worst thing I could think of. So let's cut to a place where I have this thing in better condition, better working condition, yeah, right now. So immediately, performance way better. This thing is so smooth. But we do need a way to put this thing in the window with like a dedicated airflow space, kind of like the infinite baffle subwoofer where I had the cardboard on the outside. I'm just cutting a circle out of a piece of a thin MDF board. MDF is used to make speakers, so I figured it'd be best suitable. And I'm also increasing the blade size from this smaller size to this much bigger size. And let's see if this makes any difference, if we can hear anything in the window now. That is definitely more movement. That will move much, much more air. Look at that. All I have to do is spin it now. Connect up the motor. This is the jankiest thing I've done in a while. And then watch this. It's not long enough. So, yeah. Look at that. But the motor moves. And that's pretty good. That's actually really centered. That's, I probably could not have asked for better. All right. Full tilt. There it is. Now we turn on the seven hertz signal. Oh my 
we're doing. The door is moving. So this is probably the most successful test I've had with this rotary subwoofer. It's moving the whole door. The pressure in the room is fluctuating. Obviously you can't hear it over video because my microphone and your speakers are both not good enough to pick up that kind of audio. Your speakers don't pick up audio. Anyway, I have a piece of paper here and it's moving the piece of paper. Like air is coming through the door. And if I put this other piece of paper, like, n just near the subwoofer, it starts moving too. But as with anything I build, it has to end badly. So the pressure in the room is... Oh, I when that happens. So, um, I was afraid that was going to happen. This is why I have fixed it twice. The rotor has dismantled felt so smooth. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. The helicopter rotor has discombobulated itself and it is completely broken. It's actually not completely broken. I did fix it. It was just a part that unscrewed itself. I just glued this part back in so it couldn't unscrew and that seemed to fix it from there on. I did want to press forward in trying to make this subwoofer do better than it just performed. So I printed bigger propellers and also upgraded the motor. So yeah, should be pretty good. Now it's time to see what this bigger motor and these bigger propellers can do. So that happened. I eventually 3D printed everything that is currently cardboard and tried to test it again. All right, so I have everything set up. I've got this in the window connected to a motor controller with a amplifier or ESC. Got this little thing for motor speed. I've rebuilt the, um, the actual thing with 3D printed parts and some hexagons because hexagons are the best agons. And yeah, you know, let's give this thing a shot, see if it turns on. It does not turn on. So there was some extra stress induced in the system somewhere. I still don't know why, but I 3D printed a 3 to 1 gear ratio. Probably not the best 3D printed gears, but it worked. And then gave it a test again. So this is um, 5 hertz going to the fan. Probably make it louder. Yeah. There's 5 hertz. This thing is the jankiest thing I think I've ever made. And also probably not the most dangerous, but it's it's gonna like rip itself apart at every moment, I feel.
best test I did. I would say these tests were definitely a success. I sure had fun building this thing. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.